Hello, I'm Michael Loche. I'm the author of the book Law of Attraction, and I'm also Michael's mailbag with Own Times Magazine. It's the Law of Attraction mailbag where I take questions each month and answer them. So here's this month's question. How specific do I have to be for Law of Attraction? Can I be too specific? Can I be too vague? Let's talk about searching and using the internet. Well, before I do that, let's remind you what Law of Attraction is. It's this energy around us that is matching the vibes that we're sending. Right now, everybody has a mood or a feeling which is a vibe. Law of Attraction is matching that. So the question is, how specific do I need to be for my request? Well, I don't know. When you order a pizza, how specific do you need to be with that? Or when you're ordering something online, how specific? Or you're searching online, how specific? So let's take the analogy of doing a search on the internet. The more vague my search is, the more results that I'll have to go through or sift through. The more clarity I have in my search, I might get less results back, but they're better matches. So the same thing with Law of Attraction. How specific? You would say, I'd like to attract an ideal mate. Well, what does that mean? You need to be more specific. And the best way to get clear about what you want is to know what you don't want. You know, when you order a pizza, you know what you don't like, so you use that information to help you get clear about what you do like. Or maybe you want to attract an ideal client. What is an ideal client? Well, build a list of what you don't want. That'll help you birth what you do want when you ask the question for each item. So what do I want? So the more specific you are, the more Law of Attraction can bring you the closer matches. And then as you start to attract things, and you'll, you'll notice that when you start to use the word, oh, this is such a coincidence, this is so serendipitous, in other words, celebrate how close that you're getting to the match. You see, in traditional goal setting, we only celebrate when we attract it. But with Law of Attraction, we like to celebrate things that are in alignment to what we want. In other words, parts of it are showing up. And in the celebration and excitement of the parts that are showing up, causes you to give more attention to the parts that are showing up, which causes you to give more attention to the desire that you want. Stay tuned. Join me next month for Michael Loge's Law of Attraction Mailbag with Ohm Times Magazine.